program document is a document that you create as a team to communicate to your designers, your city managers, and your administration what exactly it is that you need this new station to hold. It talks about the number of spaces, it talks about the size of the spaces, it talks about the characteristics of the spaces down to the quality of light, the temperature of the air, and whether or not there's a floor drain in the room. It can be a very detailed document, but it starts at a high level and works its way through the details. First of all, you should brainstorm. The best way to go about developing a program document is to understand what everyone needs and wants are for the station. Nothing is left out. Everything gets put on the table so that then you can begin to prioritize. But be creative and don't think about things just as the way you have them now. For example, you might have a certain number of offices now. Evaluate and analyze the way you use those offices. Does it work well? Is it going to work well in the future 10 years down the road, 30 years down the road, 50 years down the road? Have a big brainstorming session with everyone in the department. Everyone's opinion is going to matter and they're going to have a different perspective on the numbers of spaces and the types of spaces that should be included in the station. Don't forget about special operations you may run, specialty teams you may run, and all of the specific kinds of support spaces that might be associated with that. Once you've had your brainstorming session and you've got a really long list of all the things you want and you realize now that the station is suddenly five times larger than it really needs to be, the chance is to prioritize. Start to separate the needs from the wants, the absolute must-haves from the things that would be nice to have, and to develop that priority list in such a way that at any point in time, the list can get cut off and you still feel comfortable with what it is that you're achieving. Lastly, you want to be sure that you do monitor all the way through the process. So once you've got a good solid program document and you feel comfortable that it's going to achieve your goals for this station, make sure as you're going through the process of drawing and designing the station that you monitor that and that you don't lose track of the decisions that were made, why they were made, and make sure that any decisions made along the course of the process don't negatively affect or have some sort of a collateral effect on other program spaces as well. So. Brainstorm, prioritize, monitor. One of the pitfalls that folks fall into when they start a programming process is they go to various stations and they look and see what other companies have built around them or maybe even across the country and that is a great exercise to do. But what you also need to keep in mind is the station that maybe has individual sleeping rooms with individual bathrooms and individual lockers and individual refrigerators and all of these things maybe doesn't necessarily apply very well to your culture of your station. So take everything back, understand what you liked about it, but also why you liked it, and whether or not it's going to positively impact your culture or perhaps negatively impact your culture. One thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is the building process, the design process, takes a while. Usually it's at least a year to get all the drawings done. If you've got oversight from a jurisdiction, a county or some other agency, their review times need to dovetail into that. That can add several more months to the process. Then you have permitting review and then the actual co the construction time itself, which can be anywhere from 12 to 18 to 24 months depending on the size of your facility and the complexity of the site. During that time, the building probably hasn't changed a lot, but your approach to how you do your business, AV, technology, all of these things change very, very rapidly at a much higher rate than construction does. So as things change from a policy perspective, be sure to double back, take a look at the plans and the drawings and make sure you're not building something obsolete into your station right at the beginning and that the station design is also beginning to evolve as well as the AV and technology and other processes that you may put in place.